Chasing Tales, Episode 23, Time and Circumstance. Welcome back to Chasing Tales. Will Pink reveal her plans to Kevin? How are Will, Sarah, and Kate doing? Who are Sin and Otto being held captive to see? In the hills, the dark room feels stuffy and tense. Sun wiggles its wings uncomfortably. The door to the room opens and a gorgeous woman saunters up to the angels. Well, well, look who we have as our guest boys. The holdouts. What are you going to do with us? Lucy strokes Sin's beard sweetly. Oh, don't be afraid. You were brought here for a reason. For what reason? She makes a little hand sign and the trolls move out of the room. She stands alone with Sin and Otto. Oh, you'll like this job. <laughs> and it will raise your karma. So then why are we tied up? And why here? <laughs> I do have a reputation to uphold. As far as the Hellions are concerned, I came here to kill you. What's the job? Good boy. I have a special guest coming to visit, and I will need you to serve her here in the Hells. How will we do that when everyone knows us here? Lucy waves her hands and separates Sin and Otto from their bodies. Then she builds new ones for them, with a few casual brushstrokes in the air. Sin's new shape is tall and slender, with a bright blue leathery wings and a deer's head. Otto takes the shape of a minotaur with red feathery wings and black trim. They are dressed in black and pink livery of the house staff. She casually yawns and the room around them melts away to reveal a large Italian country villa. It is surrounded by a Tuscan landscape filled with beautiful scenery, a lake, mountains, and fruit trees. This is where you'll be working. Your function is to serve our dignitary. Who is it? Lucy smiles and folds her hands in front of her secretively. You'll see. Now let's meet the rest of the staff. She clamps her hands and two rows of angelics in pink and black line up. This is the staff. You will be our guest's personal assistants. She is very exacting and will require your strictest attention. In the meantime, make yourself familiar with your state and kebab of the nearest town. Quint, please show them to their rooms. Otto puts his hand on Quint gently to ask him to wait. How long will we be required? That depends on how well you serve. Lucy looks at her watch. Hmm, I have an appointment. Oh, but there is just one more thing. This is for our guest when she arrives. Please make sure she receives it. I will check in once she is settled. Otto looks at the small ring box. It's black with red flames. With a small gesture, she disappears into a musical flourish. The staff dissipates to their work. This way, sirs. This is not what I was expecting. I'll take it. After a successful operation, Will lay in the bed at home. His eyes are covered and his jaws pulled closed. He sleeps. Sarah's in the kitchen, wearing an apron, cooking. Mama Kate sits in the big chair, crocheting. She starts coughing. A large clot of blood spoils the now-formed crochet piece. She throws it aside and takes a gasping gulp of water. Sarah rushes to her. Kate, are you okay? She looks at the bright red blood on the pink crochet. Why haven't you gone back to the hospital? Does Will know this is happening? Kate shakes her head. Sarah rubs her back and flubs her cushion. Well, I'll take care of you too, Miss Kate. Don't you worry about a thing. Once Sarah has Kate settled again, she crawls to the stove to stir the pot of soup that she was making. She stopped and thought for a minute, and then determined to be the best wife and daughter ever. She began to sing to herself. Pink and Kevin are back at her apartment. She's getting dressed in her room. Kevin sits on the couch, writing notes about the last story. She comes out and pours some drinks. Kevin looks up at her as she straightens the room. Pink, where is Ressa? Is she here with us? No, I think she's off doing some mischief. I can't feel her. Ooh, in that case, can you tell me about your plan? Okay, Kevin. See, I have an active premonition and the threads table backed it up. I have to settle my business here before I discorporate. Wait, are you telling me you know you were about to die? Yes. How long do you have? 
12 months, maybe less. But can you just get another body and come right back? Sort of. I have to be reborn and grow up before I can go back to work. Conventionally, anyway. That's how reincarnation works. So how would you do that exactly? In Haven, there's a right way to do things. They won't just give me an adult body. But God can create everything. Why not just make you an immortal body? They believe I should have some limits. Besides, it's harder to function until you're used to the body. Being born into one, it happens naturally. Unconventionally, it can be done too, but I have to go outside the normal channels. I've had a better offer, but it requires me to make some really bad choices in order to achieve it. I have to take a big karma hit, enough to put me in the way of my solution. You're trusting hell then? There aren't only two players in this game, but yes, in this case, hell. But you can't trust them. Trust hell? No. But I do trust Lucy's motivation. They have a similar goal. Do you really think they will let you go back to the Syndicate? It's a risk I'll have to take. The thing I have to do next will hurt, but it will work out in the long run. I have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Pink lights a cigarette and sits down. So what bad choices are you making? I'm gonna have to hurt my friends. I don't want to. But if I don't ask, it won't be fair. But what do you mean? I'm going to ask Will and Sarah if they'll foster me. After all you've done, surely they'll say yes. I'm not so sure. See, she already has to be pregnant. I'm taking over the life of a baby that will die. She's gonna miscarry? Yes. And then you would just inhabit the dead body? The body isn't dead if there's an active soul in it, so it becomes mine, yes. So is it possession, or are, are you a... A zombie? <laughs> no, those are domination of an active soul. And since miscarries go straight to heaven, I'm just wearing the body. My soul just takes over. But if you got a better deal and could come back as an adult, why not just do that instead of hurting your friends or, you know, whatever? It's tricky. To take the deal, I have to take a karma hit. To take the hit, I have to do some shady things. I'm not looking forward to it, but I need a full-time body. One that's unkillable. So what will happen after you die, if Will and Sarah refuse? I discorporate and go to the hells. I do the job, get my body, and get out. What's the job? I've been asked to take out the Lords of Chaos. Isn't that Sprex's gang? Yes. Are you sure you can do it? Here's hoping, Kev. Now let's get back to this open box. At Park Street, Will sits up in the bed a writing tablet and pencil on the bedside table. A cup of soup with a straw sits beside him. Sarah sits on the edge of the bed. Kate is asleep in the chair in the living room. Sarah is reading the paper to him. It says here that England is fighting a polio epidemic. Five new cases from hundreds. I hope it doesn't come back to Houston. Lord, we have enough problems here. Will grunts in agreement. I mean, if it wasn't for Miss Pink, You'd have to go to a segregated hospital, and the care might not have been as good, but money talks, I suppose. She insisted on her doctor treating you. Will nods in agreement. Oh, Milton Donaghy died. That was a terrible match. It's not surprising, really. Ars Tenement crushed him in the third round. Susan Case died, too. I sang with her in New York a couple years ago. She was so nice. It says here her boyfriend's up on murder charges. My goodness. Will put his hand on Sarah's. Would you like some more soup, darling? He shook his head and patted the pillow, so she fluffed it. Mm -hmm. I'll be glad when I can see your pretty brown eyes again. <coughs> In the other room, Kate begins coughing again. Will, your mama's really sick again. She's coughing up blood. I want her to go to the doctor, but she won't go. What should I do? Will spread his hands in a confused gesture. He's helpless and mute. What could he do? Who is this mystery woman? Sin and Otto have been transformed to serve. Will Kate recover? What will Will and Sarah do next? 